Good day, everyone. So now we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. Some parts of our country celebrate on Ascension Thursday, and some celebrate on the Sunday, which we do here. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the Ascension of our Lord is described as the entrance of Jesus' humanity into heaven. He precedes us so that we, the members of his body, may live in the hope of one day being with him forever. Jesus, having entered heaven, intercedes constantly for us as the mediator who assures us of the permanent outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So how can we truly appreciate the Feast of the Ascension in our life's journey? Well, among other things, the mystery of how we touch each other's lives is strangely paradoxical in that the life-giving power of touching another's life, speaking words that nurture, doing actions that build up, and giving life for another depends also upon eventually leaving, absorbing rather than doing, and giving our goodbye just as we gave, once gave our presence and our life. There is a blessing we can only give when we go away. That is why Jesus bid farewell before his ascension, spoke these words, it's better for you that I go away. You will be sad now, but your sadness will turn into joy. How can the sadness of a goodbye, of a painful leaving, turn to joy? Well, with regard to the death of a loved one, time is the greatest healer. The healing of time requires many helpers. Faith is the most significant, in addition to the support of others. Eventually, though, when the heaviness of loss leaves our hearts, we are able to experience those we have lost in a deeper way, namely, in those places where their spirits had flourished while they were alive. In a less dramatic way, Parents experience this when a child grows and eventually goes away to start life on his or her own. It is painful to say that goodbye, but that sadness will turn to joy when one day soon, you will have standing before you a wonderful adult son or daughter who is now in a position to give you the much deeper gift of his or her adulthood. So we thank God for the gift of our faith and hope which we experience through the ascension of his son, Jesus. His leaving made it possible to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit who will dwell with us forever and who blesses us with gifts beyond measure. Have a blessed week.